During the time of Umar ibn Khattab, radiallahu anhu, a man by the name of Kilab ibn Umayyat al-Kinani relocated to Medina with his parents. His father, Umayya, was given the nickname of Abu Kila. So when they reached Medina, Kila started asking the companions of the Prophet ﷺ, whom he met about the best deeds in Islam to be performed. And they told him that it was performing jihad for the sake of Allah. So, the man decided to set out and go and join the Muslim armies to perform jihad for the sake of Allah So he went to his parents and he spoke to his father. And he was a very, very, very beautiful person to his parents. So his father said to him, son, you leave us now at this old age alone? After we've taken care of you all these years, you leave us unattended like this? He said, Father, I am leaving you for something that is better for me in the hereafter. So anyway, he succeeded in persuading his father to let him go. So he left. And time passed. And the man was growing older and older. And they had a garden of palm trees. He used, to be, he used to sit with his wife in it, in the shade of the trees. And one day, while they were sitting, he saw a pigeon playing with his chicks. So he, re he remembered Kilab. So he started crying. At that, his wife started crying herself. The man became older. He could hardly see, he could hardly walk, curved back. It became too much for him to handle, so he went to Umar ibn al-Khattab in the masjid. He said, Ya ibn al-Khattab, O oh son of al-Khattab, Umar ibn al-Khattab, Ya ibn al-Khattab, Wallahi, I swear by Allah, if you don't bring my son back to me, I will supplicate Allah against you on the day of Arafah. I will go to Hajj, and supplicate against you. He said, what is your story? He said, Kilab is my son, and you sent him with the Muslim army, and it's been a long time. And it's been a long time, and he has not come back. So Umar sent a message to the army leader to send Kilab back to Medina. So the message went, and you know, messages used to take time because it's not an email with a click. They used to physically carry it. So Kilab came back to Medina eventually and Umar ibn al-Khattab asked him, Kayfa anta li abik? What kind of a son were you for your father? He said, I made him need no one and nothing. I attended to all his needs. I favored him. I favored him over everything and anyone. And whenever he wanted milk, I used to bring the best she camel and make it relax. And when it relaxed and settled, I used to bring cool water, cleanse and wash its udder with it until the milk, the milk became cool. And then I would milk it and present it to him cool, fresh but cool. He said, okay. So he called upon the old man, Umayyah, and told Kilab to hide. And he said, Ya Aba Kilab, Kayfa Antaliyam, how are you today? He said, as you see, meaning old, weak, hardly walking, hardly seeing. He said, is there anything that you desire today? He said, no. 
I'm indifferent. I care about nothing. Good news doesn't make me, doesn't move me, and bad news doesn't move me. I'm indifferent. He said, are you sure there is nothing that you would want to happen? He said, yes. If anything, then I would love to see Kilab. Hug him, smell him. He said, inshallah, you will get that. So he told Kilab to go and milk as he used to milk for his father. So he did. And then Kilab came and gave the milk, delivered it to Umar. And Umar said, Ya Aba Kilab, Ishra. Oh Abu Kilab, drink. So when he took the container and started drinking, he put it down, he said, Wallahi inni la shuhu raihata Kilab. By Allah, I smell the hands of Kilab in this. So Umar started with me. He said, Ha huwa kilab. This is kilab. We brought him for you. So this old man who can hardly walk jumped at his son, embraced him, started smelling him and kissing him. So everybody in the gathering of Umar started crying. And then Umar said to Kilab, son, Sit with your father and your mother. Attend to their needs, they're old. And when Allah Azza decrees that they pass away, then you will go on with your life and do what you want. 